Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, my friends. Nice to see you again, some of you. Here we have Juan Fuentes. John, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, good teacher. teacher. Hello, Guillermo. Here we have also Andre Pardo and Katia Maria, right? So we're going to start in a, well, in a couple of seconds. Just first of all, I want to know how are you doing, uh, but how was your, how were your short vacations? About a couple yeah. of days. Okay, John, tell me, how was it? <laughs> well, this day uh, I rest, and but I am ready for to continue learning. Okay, that's that it. So I know that maybe you wanted more dates, at least one more week. Yeah, I guess one more week would be like good, but well, we have like a couple of days or having another environment. What about you, Guillermo? Could you rest a little bit? Uh, no, not really, <laughs> but... <laughs> but you try. Uh, I love to study English. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, but uh, remember, we're going uh, just to study one week in one day, and then we're going to have uh, vacations, right? So it means that we're going to have some other week, right? So that's really positive because we're not going to uh, study on, on vacations, okay? Because we're going to finish on August uh, 24th. So imagine if you count the days, yeah, we, we're going to have some vacations in a week. So that's really good news, right? Okay, and here we have Andre Pardo. Is that your, let me see, yes. Andre Pardo Camacho, right? Hello? Hello, teacher. How are you doing tonight? Everything okay in order? Hi, teacher. A little bit tired. Yeah, can you imagine? And even it's Monday, no, not, not so easy. That an easy day. So, but you're finally at home, Andre? Yes, I arrived at the home. Okay, nice, N nice. And I hope you can be with us uh, the, the rest of the classes, okay? So, uh, welcome, welcome to uh, module number five. Uh, as I was telling you, uh, for some students, uh, some participants that I had the, the, the last module, uh, you finish this one more and then you're going to be an intermediate so you are really close to finish a basic level you're about to to start intermediate so that's really good here we have also Ana Luisa Espinosa right hello Ana hello uh, how are you tonight Okay, my uh, flight. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. I uh, like to hear that. How how do you prefer to be called, Anna or Luisa? What do you like the most? Uh, Luisa. Anna Luisa. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. I li I like to to call uh well people by the name they, they, they prefer. Okay, thank you, Luisa. Welcome to this group. Here we have also mm, uh, Noé, Gustavo, right? Hello, Gustavo. Hello, teacher. Good night. Uh, hello, how are you? Everything in order? Okay? Hi, uh, thanks. Okay. And you? Well, I'm really good. Could you rest? 
¿Pudiste descansar? ¿Could you rest these days? Mm, yes. Yes, a little bit. Okay, poquito, a little bit. Okay. Nice. Uh, it's good to have you again. So welcome back, Gustavo. Thank you. Here we have Katia Maria. Hello, Katia. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Año de no verte. So welcome to this. Yes. <laughs> okay. How were your days these past days? Good? Nice? Oh, yeah, did, good. You, did you go out with your family, boyfriend? I don't know, with your parents? <laughs> oh, with your husband, yeah. Could you yes. have some time, right? To have yeah. dinner, to, to talk. That That's really good. I sleep so much. So. <laughs> okay, I know. Uh, yes, I guess what, that's one of the, 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 the objectives that um, <laughs> most of participants have when they finish. And even me, in my case, when we finish module, uh, we want to sleep a little bit. So that's it. But, well, let, 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 let's do it really good. Remember, one week, and then we're going to have some vacations, Katia. So that's good. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> because to have 20 uh, classes continuously, it is it is hard. It is not so easy. But we're going to have a pause. I'm going to have a pause. But I, good. Really good. Thank you. Uh, Oscar, I don't know if Oscar were over there. Oscar was. Hi, teacher. Hello, Oscar. Everything okay? Yeah? Yes, that's right. Okay, perfect. I like to uh, I like to uh, have you back, my friend. So, uh, good for you. Here we have also David. Hello, David. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Okay, nice. And here we have also Rosalie and Evelyn, right? Well, for this module, uh, we have, well, in my case, I have two different categories for the class. And we're going to have like a, a different, yeah, similar agenda in comparison to the previous that we have in the, in the course, in the module number four. But now we're going to have some... New things. I guess you're going to like it. Creo que les va a gustar un par de actividades que vamos a estar haciendo. Marita, hello there. Welcome hello. back. Hello. Welcome back. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, I like to hear that. Thank you. Uh, well, so be welcome, Maritza. Believe me, the this group, this course is going to be faster than the previous one. Este va a ser más rápido, se los aseguro que va a ser más rápido. Okay, believe it. Okay, and here we have also Rivas, right? Rivas, I don't know if we have Rivas, Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Good okay, okay, good evening. Thank you for answering, Carlos, okay? Welcome back. I'd like to have you here again. And here we have Ana Cristina. Hello, Ana. This is the first time that I see you. Hi. Hello, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> y te reí, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Qué tal, Ana? How are you tonight? Excellent. Perfect. Good. Uh, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I, I like that. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ana. So, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Ok, eh, bien, eh, para los, algunos participantes que no habían estado conmigo en los módulos anteriores, en el caso de André, eh, ¿es así tu nombre? ¿Es that your name, André? Yes, teacher, mi nombre es André. Thank you, thank you. Very, very good name, ok. So, eh, Ana Luisa, Luisa, and also, yes, Ana Cristina, and also Evelyn. No, 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 Evelyn was with us. Eh, le voy a explicar lo que son las speaking activities, ¿ok? Pero antes que nada, pues eh, le voy a mostrar siempre mis credenciales. That is something that, well, um, Inglés Corporativo asked us to show you because uh, we have some, like, you know, students. We have some participants that maybe were with, uh, with uh, any facilitator, but now you are back here with me. 
So this, well, it says a basic model number one, but it's, it's number five. You, you already know it. And in case for some participants who don't know me, well, this is me. This is soy yo, más joven. Okay, yeah, definitely. So here we have my background experience. I have worked in different foundations, NGO, academies, and we elementary schools. I have worked in well teaching adults as well. So even here I have my academic background that it is uh, where I studied. So this is part of my resume, my curriculum, okay? Just to tell you as well that we have some requirements in Me Alegra. I'm really happy that you have your camera on and you have your full name. So remember requirements, en nombre completo, en caso de oyente, pues no tenemos oyentes acá, ¿verdad? Cámara encendida, minimizar el sonido y la participación activa. En asistencia al 100%. Eso es lo que nosotros esperamos. But basically, if you have 80%, con 80% de asistencia, este, pues uh, son aprobados. Lo que siempre buscamos nosotros es el 100%. ¿Verdad? En caso fortuitos o algo de, de bueno, una causa de que sea mayor. ¿Verdad? Hay circunstancias que surgen y podemos entenderlo hasta cierto punto, pero sugiero que mantengan eh, pues la asistencia con el mayor número de conexiones posibles. Eh, recuerden también, ¿verdad? Que yo paso lista al inicio, al final, al beginning, at the end. Recuerden siempre decir hi, hello, present, good evening, o al menos digan estoy respirando, I'm breathing, right? Y yo aquí les pongo pues eh, que, que están presentes acá. Um, siempre uh, vamos a estar con las sesiones uno a uno, ¿verdad? Disponibles eh, con cada participante. Yo no puedo dar permisos, ¿verdad? Um, yo realmente aprecio, I appreciate when you tell me, teacher, um, I have this difficulty, we have some accidents or cuando a veces comenta ¿verdad? que tienen unas dificultades mayores y me comenta, pues yo también este, lo comento a mi superior, ¿verdad? Pero no puedo brindarles permisos por inasistencia. As you know, you are very experienced. Participants son participantes demasiado experimentados. You know that you need at least 80% for the homeworks in exams. El 80% de las tareas y de evaluaciones de la plataforma, you already know it. Very well. Usted la conoce súper bien. Okay. Entonces vamos a estar terminando si no eh, los viernes, ¿verdad? Los viernes vamos a estar eh, pues finalizando unidad y es necesario que hayan terminado. ¿verdad? Yo siempre les estoy recordando que pues de, de, deben de finalizar la, las tareas de la unidad en el caso que sea el midterm o el final exam. And obviously we have a mute bottom camera chat breakout rooms que los utilizamos bastante. Y el botón de eh, Ask for Help. ¿Ok? Bien. Necesito que me pongan el thumb up, que pongan el pulgar arriba los que ya, eh, pues, ingresaron a la plataforma. ¿Ok? Así, pulgar arriba, thumb up, quienes ya ingresaron a la plataforma. ¿Ok? Nice. One, two, three, four, five. ¿Ok? Yeah. Oh, good. Most of you, la mayoría de ustedes. So, nice, na nice. Rosalí, hello there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to nice. meet you. Yeah, I say the same. Digo lo mismo. Gusto de verte. Ok, eh, bien, le voy a eh, comentar tres cosas. Primero, yo durante la mañana, every morning, I'm going to send you speaking activities. Cada mañana yo le voy a enviar una actividad oral. Es una pregunta. Es una pregunta sencilla. La pregunta podría ser como esta. How do you see yourself in 10 years? ¿Cómo se ven en 10 años? Ok. Talking about your job, talking about family, maybe financial, maybe related to personal uh, relationships, whatever, lo que sea. So I send this uh, activity so you can have time to prepare your answer and share it. ¿verdad? El objetivo es que ustedes preparen la, uh, un, un break que tenga unos 10, 5 minutos. Ustedes tengan, ah, esto, esto voy a decir, ¿ok? So you are ready. Así no, no estamos aquí como limitándonos 
¿verdad? Para que sea más fluida la actividad, ¿ok? Siempre las speaking activities, de eso vamos a hablar ahora. Pero tengo dos actividades más. Eh, siempre le voy a estar mandando una speaking activity, ¿verdad? Una actividad oral. Eso es un, lo que le voy a mandar todas las mañanas para que ustedes estén atentos, ¿ok? Segundo, vamos a trabajar ahora eh, con el tema de canciones. No podemos escuchar canciones. We can uh, listen songs, especially from YouTube, ¿verdad? Y especialmente por YouTube no podemos escuchar, no podemos poner videos porque es por el derecho, ¿verdad? Por la cuestión de copyright. Pero lo que sí podemos hacer es lo siguiente. Presentar un extracto de una canción. Y cuando presentemos el extracto, esto no lo vamos a hacer todos los días, solo lo van a hacer una o dos veces en todo este módulo. ¿Qué quiere decir? Yo presento el coro de una canción o presento la estrofa de una canción en unas tres, cuatro o cinco líneas y necesito, fíjense bien, necesito que ustedes identifiquen parts of speech, que eh, las partes gramaticales, ustedes las identifiquen. Porque no solo se trata de aprender cantando y todo eso, no se trata de analizar. Entonces, vamos a utilizar, ah, la, la canción está en, en present simple. La canción está en pasado, la canción habla del futuro. Y vamos, eh, ya le voy a dar tiempo para que tomen captura de esto. Ustedes me van a decir cual, si hay subject pronouns, si hay object pronouns, si hay possessive adjectives, si hay possessive pronouns, si hay adverbs, si los verbos son regulares, irregulares, artículos y pronombres. No quiero que lo digan todo, pero por lo menos que me digan uno de cada uno. ¿Ok? Ya lo voy a hacer. Ya lo voy a hacer para que vean cómo necesito que ustedes lo hagan. O sea, que cuando le toque a Guillermo, Guillermo tiene su extracto de canción, comparte pantalla y empieza a subrayar. Si ustedes ya quieren traerlo subrayado y con los nombres, no problem, you can do it, ¿ok? Entonces se trata de que hay una canción y el objetivo es que nosotros podamos identificar qué canción es. No diga el nombre de la canción ni el cantante, sino que no la van a cantar, solo la van a leer, ¿verdad? Pero si ustedes la quieren cantar, ¿verdad?, eh, pues adelante, ¿verdad? Si ahí David quiere echarse una con dedicatoria, lo puede hacer, pero no es obligación, ¿verdad? Se trata de que eh, sea una cuestión amena para que aprendamos a través de, la, de las estructuras gramaticales en las canciones. Bien. Very nice, teacher. I like yeah, it. yeah, every night we're going to have one song, una canción, o sea, cada, quien, cada noche le va a tocar a alguien. ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a tener, tener diferentes canciones. Remember, some people like romantic ballads, eh, maybe some other like rock and roll, reggae, eh, funk, I don't know, there are different categories, especially in, in, in English. No me van a tener una de Paquita, la del barrio, ¿verdad? Ni de la de Leblanc, o because, esa que tal vez los viernes la podemos ver, but this is for, for learning. Ok, mm -hmm. esto sería la segunda actividad vamos a hacer cada clase y la otra actividad va a ser la siguiente esta categoría que eh, la voy a implementar con ustedes, ustedes son el, mi primer grupo de experimentación con esto y sé que lo van a hacer bien, eso se llama talk for a minute vamos a hablar todos durante un minuto sobre algún tema el tema de ahora va a ser your best friend eso va a ser teacher but if I Talk about 45 seconds, it's okay. If you talk 30 seconds, it's okay. Si hablan 30 segundos, no hay problema. Okay? But it is good for you to have, like, ideas para que va, empiece a fluir más el inglés con ustedes. You are level five, right? Ya están en, en nivel cinco. Entonces, su fluidez debe de todavía de, de, de mejorar. Ustedes tienen una gran fluidez. Y vamos a decir cosas básicas, por ejemplo, de su amigo, un nombre, donde vive, colores favoritos, donde lo conocieron, qué hace. Si sumamos toda esa, todo, toda esa información, nos lleva 30, 40 segundos. Después ya ni lo voy a poder parar, se van a dar cuenta. Tomorrow we're going to talk about another topic. Vamos a hablar sobre otro tema. Talk for a minute about, ¿ok? Así que ya para que tengan una idea de esas nuevas este, categorías dentro de la clase que vamos a estar relacionando. ¿Verdad? Porque esto no lo puedo hacer con un nivel 2 ni nivel 3, porque se me quedarían cortos. En cambio, con ustedes ya, ya son parte del, de la alta gama de la evolución humana. Ok, so, 
And the topic for tonight is words to mark steps in a process. Okay, we're going to start with this. Um, it is related to steps. One, two, three, or first, second, third. We're going to talk about this, but I'm going to check the attendance list. As I told you before in the, in the other module, I always give you vocabulary, new vocabulary. So I'm going to check the attendance list. You say, hi, hello, good evening. And then you select one of these, okay? Here we have great, slice, peel, whisk, boil, fry, grill, bake, pour, como decir pobre, pour, scramble, scramble, simmer, bread. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Remember that you have to select just one word. Great, slice, peel, whisk, boil, fry, grill, bake, pour, scramble, simmer, spread. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to check the attendance list because it is time now. We have been talking like for a couple of seconds so let's see if we have here Adi I don't know if Adi is here I guess no right what about Ana Cristina yes right yes teacher <clears throat> um fry thank you uh what do you prefer Ana Cristina Annie Christy or how how do your friends call you Christina, teacher, thank you. Christina, it's okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And we go now with Luisa. Mm, okay. I don't know if Luisa is there. If not. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Select one word. Selección una de las palabras que aparece ahí. Green. Okay. Thank you. Andre, hi there. Tell me, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello. Thank you. Select one of these uh, words. Mm, grill. Thank you. Rivas, are you there, right? Present teacher, a slice. Good one. Thank you. Daniel, well, I guess Daniel is not here by the moment, but we have David. Definitely. David, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, bake. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn? Are you there, Evelyn? I saw you. But I don't know if you're there now. Okay. If not, we go with Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. Uh, a slice. Thank you. John? Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Um, here I am. I choose uh, poor. Okay, good. Thank you. Katia, hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, bake. Thank you. Uh, Maritza? Present. Mm, scramble. Okay, scramble. Good. Thank you. Um, we go now with Gustavo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Here. Okay, very nice. Thank you. We go now with uh, Oscar. Present scramble. Thank you. We have other Oscar, Oscar Daniel, but I, I don't know if... Oscar Daniel, are you there? Yes, I am here, teacher. Thank you, Oscar Daniel. Bueno, tenemos dos Oscar. Pero al otro Oscar le decíamos Oscar y aquí tú te llamas Dania. Ok. Let me check. A menos que a Oscar Meléndez le digamos Eduardo. I don't know if you have problems with that, Oscar. No, no problem, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for, for helping here. Ok, Oscar Daniel, entonces tú serías Oscar en definitiva y Oscar Meléndez va a ser Eduardo. 
aunque ya me he acostumbrado a decirte Oscar, Eduardo, pero bueno. Así para que no tengamos dificultades. Thank you. Rosalí, eh, me parece que se acaba de levantar, me comentó que tenía dificultades. Susi, I don't know if Susi is here. Ok, maybe not. So, let's move. Um, we have this vocabulary, I guess. Uh, you have seen the word bakery, and visto la palabra bakery, and this slice of pizza. Um, visto, por ejemplo, spread, whisk. So, uh, if you notice, this is kitchen vocabulary, but it is good for you to have it like an idea. What is it? Okay. So, we're going to start with this. How do you see yourself in 10 years? Okay, um, let's see any volunteers. Maybe we can have like three or four participations. It's not, uh, you don't have to talk a lot. Just maybe have the, the main points of you, maybe in talking about your job, your family, living here in El Salvador, living in another part. In 10 years, it's like not too much time. But maybe we can have the first person, John, any idea? About how do you see yourself in 10 years? Let me see. Uh, okay, with with health and and with family, my family and with work, I think. Okay, with work. Would you like to continue working in the same place? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the, the objectives, okay? With health, with your family, working in the same place, with the work. That, that's one of the main, <laughs> definitely. Okay, thank you, John. Uh, maybe we can have um, Guillermo and then Eduardo. Okay, teacher, I see myself in 10 years living in another country. Mm -hmm. I hope to... <laughs> to do that because I, I don't I don't like to live here in Salvador. Mm. Okay. okay, very nice. And I guess you remember that everybody has different plans. So your plans uh, are like, well, involve a movie to another country. That's really good. Okay, so I hope you can do it, Guillermo. Thank you. We go with Eduardo and then Maritza. Well, I in ten years I see with all my debts, pace mm -hmm. <laughs> and with my songs in the university, mm -hmm. and with my house uh, finish. Oh, nice! Yeah, okay, very nice. Uh, talking about uh, debts, uh, it is something that maybe we have difficulties with that here in El Salvador, right? It is like part of our daily. daily it is routine. something common. Yeah, I know. And it is not easy to get out of it. Nothing easy. Okay. Thank you, Eduardo. Good point. And we go with Maritza. And then Katia. I don't know. Uh, living in another Salvador, working. Maybe with a family. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, we're not sure, right? Maybe with a family. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Uh, continue working the same place? Maritza? Repeat. Uh, working in the same place? It would be your say in the same company? No. No. In no, that ya te voy a escuchar el jefe. Okay. Working in another, another company. That's nice. Thank you. And we're going to finish with Katia this round. Okay, Katia. Okay. Um, in 10 years, I hope I have a better job and have a nice family. And also, I hope to travel. I want to go to Japan for the Hanami Festival. Oh, yeah, it's very famous, that, that festival. Okay, good. Why not? With your husband, right? Yes. 
voy a dejar. Ok. Thank you. So, this is part of the activities that we do in, in every class, uh, speaking a lot of different things, so we can get more fluency. Ok. So, um, I needed to do something. Here we have, let's start. This part sometimes is kind of interesting. Let's start. Look, look at this. What do you know about manufacturing? How does your company manufacture? Okay. I need you to tell me in the chat what is the service that your company provides. If uh, they are articles, if they are products or service. Okay. Let's see. Here we have products. Uh, you can say simple cell phones. Okay. If but if it is service, you can say, for example, okay. Usted elige. If your company provides products, please detail what products your company provides. But if your company provides service, be specific what service is involved your company, okay? I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to check here in the chat. I give you a couple of seconds. Okay, let's check what do we have here. 
Well, food service. Uh, David, what kind of food service uh, does your company give? It is like to go delivery or it's a restaurant. Mm, cafeteria. Ah, cafeteria. I mean, you can say cafe cafeteria. or cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very interesting. So, yeah. Good. Thank you. We have Eduardo. Chemicals for industries. Mm. Interesting. Uh, Eduardo, you are a commerce company or your company creates the chemicals? We are a commerce company. A commerce. Okay. You get the, the chemicals and you give it to just sell it to the industries. Yes, we sell the, the, the chemicals. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And here we have also um, Guillermo, okay? Shuttle uh, service uh, is here in, in El Salvador. It is, uh, or do you work with, with some other company because you provide transportation, right? For products. Is uh, that it? Not really. Uh, I mean, I'm working with Avianca, so... Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. We, we sell uh, plane tickets, but mm -hmm. we also can can make uh, transport products. Yeah, shipping, shipping products. Okay. Yeah. And, but, okay, with products and also, but you don't sell tickets, right? Like reservation or booking for flights? Yes. Not, yeah, as well. Okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you. And uh, Maritza service fuel. Okay. It is like a gas station, uh, Maritza. Yes. Mm, okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, thank you for your answers. We're talking about manufacture. Manufacture is the process of creating some products based on uh, getting raw material. For example, if you are talking about food, as uh, David, it's a cafeteria, so the materials or the ingredients are the raw material. So in David's company, they get the materials, the ingredients, they create the food and then sell it. That's manufacturing, es la manufactura, right? So, uh, Rosalie, products make up. Okay, uh, Rosalie, your company is commerce enterprise. Ah, okay. Rosalie says, make up classes and advice. Okay, so you provide a service. Okay, interesting. And make up. Well, and we're going to check now here. We have a conversation between, I'm going to show you so you can have a, a better view. Okay, Anna and Mark, and we have Diana as well. Here we have this. It says, uh, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. No, dice absolutely. The, the letter E is silent. La E is silenciosa. Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. No, chocolate. Chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Ya vieron, ¿verdad? Slice. Palabra que acabamos de, de ver. Uh, sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers. And we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. So, uh, the words in bold, la palabra en negrita, first, second, finally. It's a process, okay? First, second, 
finally. And here we have this. Uh, Mark, uh, ¿nos explicarías eh, cuál es el proceso de, de manufactura? Eh, absolutamente. Así es como nosotros hacemos nuestro top de ventas o, el, o la mejor venta. Primero, agregamos una capa gruesa de chocolate. Eh, segundo, agregamos una capa delgada de almendras, eh, ¿verdad? Como pues cortes de almendras. Suena genial. Y entonces, finalmente, agregamos pues ginger. En este caso, tenemos, but what about people who are diabetic? Eh, ¿Y qué hay con la gente que es diabética? ¿Ellos pueden comerlo? No voy a mentir, la cantidad de azúcar es muy alta. Consideramos a esos clientes, pero también tenemos otros productos. Eh, tenemos una barra de dulce y una goma de mascar con cero azúcar. Contenido cero azúcar. Genial. Vamos a dar una revisión. So, look at this. Eh, absolutely. Chocolate. Diabetic. Okay, I'd like you to have a screenshot here. We're going to have groups of three. So remember to exchange part of the conversation so we can have different participation. So let's see if we can have this. Um, una duda, ¿hay alguien que no está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Bien, creo que todos, right? So, I'm going to create the groups. I hope you can work together. Okay, so see you. Thank you. Thank you for sending the, the, this picture. Remember, recuerden siempre, eh, practiquen, intercambien los diálogos, okay? One, uh, for example, one person is Anna, the, the other person is Mark, and then Diana, and then you change, change, so you can have uh, the practice of different words, okay? See you in a moment. Please accept the request so we can work in the breakout rooms. And I'll see you in a couple of minutes. André, ya te envié la solicitud para los breakout rooms. Perfect.
Okay, let's see. Uh, we have practiced this conversation and between Anna, Mark, and Diana. We have like key words like first, second, finally. Okay, so in this case, maybe we can have some participations. Rosalie, who was your classmate or oh, who were your classmates? Um, um, Andre, Andre. Andre, Mr. and who else? Um, Oscar, pero este, como estaba de oyente, solo nos quedamos este, ante ello. Ok, bien, entonces eh, tú podrías ser Ana, Andre podría ser Mark, y vamos a dejar aquí a Maritza como Diana, como es bien tímida Maritza, por eso le vamos a dar Diana. Ok. Ok. Ok, Ana. Ok, Ana, digo, <laughs> Rosalie, you start. Show time. Mark, could you explain use what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. Uh, this is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sound great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to. Teacher, puede mover el. Yes. Yeah, lie. I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customer, and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Thank you very much. So maybe we can have this. Thank you for your pronunciation. Really good. And maybe we can have John's group. Who was your uh, classmates? Hey, I work with Evelyn and Guillermo. Okay. Evelyn and Guillermo, okay. Evelyn. Well, maybe, well, it doesn't matter who is going to be like Anna, Marco, Diana, okay. Maybe you can help us, John, Guillermo, and Evelyn can be Diana. I don't know who's going to start. Maybe you, if you want, and then Guillermo, with absolutely. Okay. Could you? John? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Evelyn, uh, you are you are Anna. Okay. Okay, nice. Evelyn, you are Anna. Okay, no problem. Okay. My will you explain to what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. Uh, this is how we make our two sealer first. We add a thin layer of chocolate. Uh, second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. So great and thin. Uh, finally, we add ginger. So that, so that about people who are diabetic, can they eat? Um, I'm not going to lie, uh, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider it those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Please, please take a look. Okay, nice. Let's take a look. Thank you. Well, um, now that in this case, thank you, uh, Mark talks about the process or the steps and here we have some questions look at this what are the words mark used to indicate the parts of the manufacturing process and number two what are the negative sides of mark products these equations are going to we're going to use them but not with these um, conversation. We're going to check a video on YouTube. I know that it is like limited the content that we can play here, but this video is like available, como que está disponible este video. 
Así que we're going to focus on the words that this person uses. And maybe you can talk about positive and negative sides, okay? And we're going to check this video. It is like two or, yeah, like two or three minutes. Let's check it. And then if you can take notes, you can do it. We're going to discuss about this later. My name is Matt Renstrom. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you what a manufacturing process is and what it produces. A manufacturing process is a process that takes raw materials or different components and refines them into a product or a component that forms a part of a larger product. It is all intermediate processes, production and integration of a product's components. A manufacturing process results in something that you can touch and feel. Something tangible. It is the production of goods for use or for sale. This is the contrast to a service process, which I'll talk about in another video. A manufacturing process is usually found within the manufacturing industry. But some manufacturing can, of course, take place in smaller scale. Even though the focus of process improvement has been concentrating on the manufacturing processes, the majority of processes in the business world are service processes. The manufacturing processes have a lot of inbuilt quality controls. The trend for many years has been to move the quality control for being predominantly at the end of the process to being spread throughout the whole process flow. The advantage of the manufacturing process is that it is possible to monitor and check the quality of the product before handing it over to the customer. The manufactured goods can be felt, tasted, bent, weighted, stretched and more. Even though the manufacturers have every opportunity to create perfect goods, it's astonishing that many goods are still released onto the market, not living up to the expectations. When planning a manufacturing process, it's a challenge to observe and manipulate the layers of the production process. The flow of information and the flow of the physical objects both are connected and need to be handled simultaneously to enable the successful completion of the process. Compare this description of the manufacturing process with the video explaining a service process. If you like to have more free material as this one, and if you want to learn more about the issues that I talked about in this video, please visit matsrenstrom.com. That is matsrenstrom.com. And remember, as always, it's your commitment and your knowledge to help you and your business to achieve excellence. Okay, very important aspects related to manufacturing process. And maybe you can talk about what you saw. Ana Cristina, did you write down some words, phrases, ideas? about this maybe we can listen to Gustavo later any idea alguna idea que captaste Cristina sí estaba hablando de um, <laughs> yes um, no is very um, easy uh, listening and you understand? <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um. It, it. He mentioned that it is the process is easy to monitor. Okay. So thank you. And maybe we can have Gustavo, and then we have um. Maritza. Gustavo, an idea. Uh, the. The process, the process, and um, no, not teacher. Okay, the process has different steps. For example, okay, no problem. Thank you, Maritza, and then we're going to listen to Eduardo.
don't know. No ideas. Okay, no problem. Eduardo, maybe, and then David. He's been talking about a line of products that is ensemble, like uh, a, a thing what is uh, comfortable and it's physical. Mm -hmm. And he talked about the quality, the time of the product, and some things like this. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like assembled, very important about raw materials, right? Thank you, yes. Eduardo. Yes, and David, and then John. Okay, teacher. I I think the transformation or or integration of products mm -hmm. is, yes. is service process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, David. Very nice. Only. He sta Thank you. Yes, he established like a difference about yeah service and products. Yeah. Thank you, John. Maybe and then maybe we can have uh Katia, if you're there. Yeah. Okay. Um. A bit complicated, but I will try. And no problem. See. Let's do it. The, the sum of many things for a primary purpose and logical steps uh, order for a good product, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and everything has like its logic and everything has its order right yeah thank you john good i know it was like a lot of information but it is good to um, identify some ideas words or phrases that maybe we can understand katia i don't know if you are there or guillermo if not we're going to move but thank you for well participating and here we have, we continue with the speaking activity. How do you see yourself in 10 years? And for this, and we're going to have, let me check. We're going to listen to Rivas and then David. Okay, Rivas, how do you see yourself in 10 years? Hey teacher, I see myself graduating from my career and with a better job. Mm, interesting. Yeah. What are you studying? And ISO. And diplomat, diplomat was in, in ISO. Ah, oh, okay. My Very ISO. nice. Yes. Okay. You are continuously information. Okay. Congratulations. I hope you can do it. Thank you, Rivas. I like to, to hear that you are continue, you continue study. Okay, uh, maybe we can have uh, David and then we're going to have Evelyn. Okay, teacher, in, in 10 years, well, well, I see myself living in another, another country, mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, Norway. Uh, mm -hmm. I like no Norway in a house on the shore in the beach and joining with my family. Uh, yeah, it sounds really, but really good. Thank you, David. Sounds like a good plan. Um, We can have Evelyn and then Cristina. Okay, Evelyn, how do you see yourself? Como te ves en mm -hmm. 10 años? I'm holding in a vacation with my family. Yeah. Nice plan. Yeah. Like having good vacations with your family. Sounds good. Uh, Christina and then Luisa. Okay. I see myself in 10 years already retired and traveling. The mm -hmm. first country want to visit is Cuba. Mm, yeah. Dance uh, salsa. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, dance salsa. Take advantage of that place. Yeah, Cuba. <clears throat> Cuba is one of the the best options for tourists. Actually, it's a, it's a good place. Okay. I love Cuba. Okay. Good. Uh, 
Good plan, Christy. Thank you. And uh, Luisa, I don't know if you are there. And then Andre. Okay, I always see myself with with my whole family, and I good health and go like I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, with good health, so important. And with family, thank you. Andre, are you there? To talk about how do you see yourself in 10 years? Okay, uh, I see myself in 10 years. I live in, again in Colombia mm -hmm. with my family. And I hope in in this moment I have wife and children. Okay. That's nice. You are you from Colombia, Andre? Yes, teacher. I'm from Colombia. Oh, oh interesting. So well, you are my second uh, student or participant from this program that comes from Colombia, but good. Okay. Good. Thank you, Andre. I hope you okay. can you can accomplish your plan. And here we have also. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to finish this, here we have Gustavo, and then we have Rosalie. Gustavo, what about you? How do you see yourself? Creo que ya me lo dijiste, ¿verdad, Gustavo? Did you participate? Ok. Vamos a ver, entonces, Rosalie. Okay, teacher. In 10 years, I see myself still working in a better job, helping my son with his homework mm -hmm. and taking care of my family. Okay, that's it, right? Taking care of your family. Nice. Yeah. And helping your son. Good. What about Oscar? Daniel, I don't know if you're ready. Oscar Daniel, if Oscar Daniel is not ready, let's listen here. Daniel Ernesto, welcome back, Daniel. Hey, teacher. Um, Hello there. Nice to see you, my friend. How are you? Uh, good. Okay. We're talking about how do you see yourself? Estamos hablando cómo te ves en 10 años. Okay. That is a very important question for me. Uh, about this, uh, I think that in ten years, I will have me how how own business, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. Why not uh, having your own business? Remember that maybe you can work in in a company, but it is good to have other options for getting like incomes para obtener ingresos. Good, thank you, Daniel. Well, in this case, here we have this. Yes, Gustavo, please. Okay, teacher. Um, very happy with my family. Mm -hmm. Always, always working and of, of course, I speak English. English. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Remember, in 10 years, you're going to be like a very good English speaker. You're going to be professional. Thank you. And always, I something that I like to hear is that you always mention your family. Really important in our lives. So you are having some plans, you have your goals, but your family, it's included. Well, now here we go with a manufacturing steps. Look at this. Words to mark steps in a process. Here we have first, no es first, es con el first, second, third, then, Later, after, right, okay, uh, right after, next, finally. Here we have examples. I need you to help me read it. John, could you help me please with number one? Yes. Um, and then example, Evelyn, number two. Example one, first, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and how Vanilla. do you say vanilla? 
Vanilla, como Vanilla Ice. ¿Te acuerdas okay, de Ice, Ice Baby? Vanilla. Ah, that's Vanilla. Thank you. Okay, we go with Evelyn and then we go with Gustavo. Second. 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 Separate. Separate. Separately. Separate. Separately. Separate. Separate. Combine floor baking powder and salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Combined flour. Thank you. Yes, and salt. Mm -hmm. We go now with who? Uh, David and then Christina. Third yeah. combined. How, how do you say third? Third, con e. Third. Third. Third combined about mixture with milk. Thank you. Okay, we go now with uh, Christina and then Guillermo. Letter tie for one hour. Mm -hmm. Chill, mm -hmm. chill for one hour. Thank you. Chill. Okay, Guillermo and Eduardo. After roll the mixture to about a quart inch thick. Thank you. Okay, Eduardo and Maritza. Next, cut cookies. Thank you, Maritza. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. And that's it. The, those are steps. Remember, you can use this uh, same vocabulary to talk about process to prepare a sandwich, process to prepare some chicken, process to uh, manufacture any product. For different type of processes, you can use first, second, third, porque están hablando de, de un proceso, ¿verdad? Primero, segundo, tercero, y van mencionando los pasos, okay? We're going to have one activity here, so please uh, pay attention to this, right? Let's continue with this, and look. Read the description of the top selling product of a chocolate chocolate factory in El Salvador. B, below your roof. You will find steps to produce this product. Compare with a classmate. Aquí dice, dark chocolate espresso. Made with our small dark chocolate in chunks of our organic espresso beans. Get your chocolate and coffee. Fix all at once with this delicious treat, $2. Number one, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Number one, demo de ver number two, number three, and let's see. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Tenemos que enumerarlos. The, they are 10, son 10 pasos, okay? I know it's kind of uh, complicated because it has it's in vocabulary. It's like a different process. But let's read them. Vamos a leer todas estas y luego las vamos a ubicar from 1 to 10. I give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos. Uh, I think uh, the second we add sugar the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mash
Okay, we have 10 numbers. Number one says, we process the quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Guillermo, any idea with number two, right? Um, the number two is the last one. From the in, first column. In, in the first column. The cocoa mass go straight to the factories in La Union or Santa Ana. Definitely, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody has number three or four? Aquí está. Serían de esta parte. Aquí está. From one to five. Del uno al cinco están acá. Okay. Aquí está. That says that from six to ten. So here we from one. Number number three, I think um, we condense friends whole milk. Okay, let's see. Could it be okay? Condense fresh whole milk. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And David. Number ten, teacher, and second column. Mm -hmm. Chocolate undergoes the final special production stage refining coaching and tapering okay thank you perfect david good number 10 anyone else humans teacher and the first column uh, the number okay. four is we add sugar to the condensing meal to some of the cocoa mass. Okay, the what number? Four or five? Four. Okay. Yeah. We can have it here. Rosalie, thank you, Edward. Rosalie. Yes, I want to see Joe very well. Number okay. five is number we five. produce a red screen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, what about the others? Six, seven, eight, or nine. These are easier. Estas son más fáciles. Okay, I'm going to give you six, okay? Yes, in Brazil. Mm -hmm. We cook these ingredients together. Okay? Here we have just seven eight and nine okay maybe we can have maritza uh, the milk evaporate to mm -hmm. make milk chocolate yeah number seven good one easy as i told you thank you mm -hmm. what about in this case um katia and daniel Katia, are you there? If Katia is not available, maybe Daniel? The number eight. We mix the crops with cocoa, cocoa, liquor, and coffee beans as, be, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Good pronunciation. Thank you. And definitely here we have number nine. As I told you before, this part is going to be easier because it's already in order. Thank you. Okay, now what we're going to do is that we're going to create a process. So we're going to do something easy. Let's do something like this. Create a sequence of steps using the words. For example, you can use first, second, and finally, just use three, solo tres and tres, okay? Because if we use all of these words, we're going to finish la at midnight, hasta la medianoche, si seguimos con todo esto, okay? Just use three or four of these words. You can talk, uh, you can use it for ordering the ingredients for a sandwich or how to prepare a soup, how to prepare pancakes, how to prepare 
coffee. Okay. Um, how to tie your shoes? Como amarraste los zapatos? How to send an email? How to prepare some reports? Depends on you. Something that comes to your mind. Even you can Google it. Pueden buscarlo si, si quieren. Okay. Steps. We're going to use three or four steps. Okay. I recommend you to use first, second, y puede ser next. Or first, second, later. Si quieren utilizar finally, if you want. Okay. I'm going to give you like three or four minutes. Tres o cuatro minutos. It just orally. No es necesario que lo escriba. Oralmente. Okay. I'm going to give you that like three or four minutes. Let's do it. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, uh, Okay, just to, to help you, eh, las indicaciones deben de ser cortas, no, no largas, no extensas como lo acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Algo práctico, sencillo, so practical. You have three minutes, okay? And then I ask you.
Okay, my friends, let's share some of the the things you have. Daniel, you're ready, my friend? Yeah. Okay, please go. Okay, um, how to paint a car? First, prepare the car. And second, paint with the base. And third, cover with paper. And later, uh, send with 600 paper. Next, clean. And finally, paint it. Easy. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, maybe we can have some other participations. Maybe Guillermo and then Rosalie, if she's ready. Okay, Guillermo, please. Okay, teacher. And the steps to prepare a sandwich. First, we we put two slices of bread in the table. Second, we add a little bit of mayonnaise in the bread. And next, we put two slices of ham between the slices of bread, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, two slices of, of ham, imagine. <laughs> Thank you. Rosalie and Evelyn, please. Um, the prepared pancakes of banana and avena. And Good. first, we match the banana. <laughs> Second, we add an egg. And th third, uh, we add the oats and mix the ingredients. Yeah, good one. Thank you. Evelyn and Cristina. First, I go up. Second, I go to the bathroom. Till I bite. Next, I dress. I finally go to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like steps of your routine. Yeah, thank you. Well done. See, los pasos de tu rutina. Thank you, Evelyn. Nice. And Cristina and John. Okay. <clears throat> and my process is prepare a class. Yeah. First, think about the topic. Second, an activity to attract the attention of the students. Third, the development of the topic. And finally, questions to clarify the most. Yeah. The most. Very good detail. Thank you, Chrissy. Good done. And we go with John and then Marita. Okay, my example, um, load my desk. Mm -hmm. And first, I press I press the power button of the PC. Second, um, I wait for the operating system to load, to load, and finally I put my credential. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's it. Very clear. Thank you, John, uh, Maritza, and David. If Maritza is ready. Prepare a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Food. First, put two slices of bread. Second, use a knife to spread to the mayonnaise. Yeah. Third, add the vegetables, ham, and cheese. And finally, put the other slice of bread. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Let's listen to David and then Andre. Uh, something easy, teacher. Uh, instant soup. Mm -hmm. First, uh, you have to buy the marchand soup. Okay. Uh, second, add uh, uh, boiling water and cover it for three minutes. Finally, open and enjoy an instant soup. Yeah, good point. Thank you, David. Easy. Easy peasy. That's it. Uh, Andre, please. And then we go with Katia. Okay. Uh, I'm cooking a rice. Hmm. Uh, the fish uh, chop the onion and carrot into a small piece and put in the pot. 
-hmm. Second, uh, fry a little bit uh, the onion and carrot and add two cups of water. Okay. The next, the next add one cup of rice. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay. Next, Next white uh, of evaporate water. And finally, white while the rice is soft and ready to eat. Ready to eat, yeah. Thank you. Santia, and then we go with Eduardo. Okay, process to prepare um gelatin. Mm -hmm. I know yes, okay. And gelatin dessert. <laughs> First, dissolve the four gelatin and half of half the water indicate on the package. And by the containing into rectangular mold and prepare unit they are filmed. Second, once Portland cut the gelatin into cubes and place them in the listing grazing model. And three in another bowl, dissolve the flour gelatin in, I don't know, un medio. <laughs> one and, and a half. One and a half. One and a half, sorry. Cup for, of warm water, one dissolved and the consent milk and cup minute. And finally, pour the previous mixture into the ring and mold. And refrigerate one hour, and unit the gelatin is completely served and enjoyed. Okay, and ready to eat. Thank you, Katia. And maybe we can have um, Eduardo and then Gustavo. Okay, steps to wake up first, let the alarm sound three times. Uh, second, get up to do a little of exercise and finally go to the back from to take a shower mm -hmm. okay three alarms sometimes we need four alarms right Eduardo it depends <laughs> yeah it depends thank you Eduardo and Gustavo okay. and then Rivas okay teacher how to prepare a coffee per mm -hmm. per the water in a container Second and coffee packets in a cup. Sears and the hot water. Fin finally, and sugar to dust. Mm -hmm. and that's it. And thank you. Maybe we can have um, Rivas and then Luisa. Hey, teacher. Meal shake. Please prepare the ingredients. Meal, bananas, and oats. Seconds place the milk, banana, and oats in a blender. Tear in a blender. Tear. Bring the ingredients. Finally, pour into glass. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. And here we have uh, Luisa. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, a rice pudding. First of the rice is squashes. Uh, second, we put the we put the rice. And uh, the pot with water, and uh, we cook them minutes. And uh, next, uh, that they boil the milk. And finally, the milk pudding really to eat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very simple. That's it. And uh, Oscar Daniel, are you ready? I don't know if Oscar is there. Okay. If not, we move to the next part. As I told you, um, no sé si me voy a tardar un poquito acá, pero voy a explicar. La actividad de la canción consiste de la siguiente manera para los que se acaban de conectar. Vamos a presentar un extracto de una canción. Eh, Estas son ¿qué? cuatro líneas, ¿verdad? De una parte de la canción. Puede ser estrofa o puede ser coro. Ok. El día de mañana le corresponde a Cristina. Cristina, tú presentarías canción mañana, ¿ok? 
le tocaría a Adi, pero no se conectó ahora. ¿Sí? Ok, Ok. teacher. Muy Ok. bien. Entonces, la clave es la siguiente. Eh, a ver si alguien me puede tomar captura de pantalla a esto. Es importante este cuadro para que lo tengan como referencia. Pueden decir que, ah, esta oración, this sentence is past, this sentence is present, or this sentence is future, si ustedes quieren. Y lo que estamos haciendo acá, estamos, pues, desfragmentando algunas, eh, algunas palabras, frases, o algunas oraciones que nosotros encontramos en una ocasión. Thank you. La otra imagen que es importante es esta. Porque aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, los pronouns, los subject pronouns, tenemos object pronouns, possessive, ¿verdad? Eh, Cristi, no es necesario que lo hagas todo. Con unas siete, ocho, con siete palabras que tú identifiques, ya, ya sería, pues, lo, lo básico, ¿ok? Eh, aquí tenemos, recuerden también, adjetivos, adverbios y todo eso, ¿okay? Ok. Entonces, sería de la siguiente manera. Primero la leo, sería así. I can't fight this feeling any longer, and yet I'm still afraid to let it flow. What started out as friendship has grown stronger. I only wish I had the strength to let it show. So, Here we have subject pronoun. Tenemos subject pronoun. Here we have an irregular verb. Here we have a noun. An adjective. Conjunction. Regular verb. And article. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Vaya. Viste. Cristi, siete palabritas identifiqué. Very easy, easy teacher, very easy. Very easy, ok. <laughs> yeah, no problem with that. Así que todos ustedes van a compartir pantalla y van a, bueno, van a mostrar. Hay algunos que posiblemente eh, desde antes ya lo tengan listo y solo lo muestren ya con las partecitas, pero si ustedes lo quieren hacer aquí, no problem. So, what, what is the name of this song? ¿Alguien conoce el nombre de esta canción? What is the name of this song? Si la cantara, la reconociera, teacher. Mm. <laughs> yes. I'm still afraid to let it flow. Speed wagon. Not started as friends, has Only wish I had the strength to let it show. Wow. Yes, that's a, yeah, that, that is a no job. Sé, pero... Yes. I like it. Yeah, a really good song. I can find. Mm -hmm. This feeling, right? This feeling. Yeah. And, and David says, is, are you all speed is, wagon, right? Who is sing? Uh, the, the, the singer, well, it's a band. It's una banda. Are you speed wagon, right? Yes. That's the, 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 the name oh. of the good band. Yeah, yeah they, they, have, they have good music, right? Sorry. Yeah. So you can uh, select music from any band or singer if you want. It depends on you, right? But remember not to say the name, but at the end. So we can guess, podemos adivinar. Or John can sing every song. He's a good singer. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my friends. We're about to finish just 12 minutes. 12 minutes para terminar. So I don't know if we're going to finish with this. Talk for a minute about your best friend. Okay. If you want, you can talk about 30 seconds. 40 seconds. Pueden hablar menos de un minuto. Si ustedes gustan, no problem. Okay. Talk about a friend. Vamos a hablar de, de un amigo. Okay. Any volunteer? This is the last activity. La última actividad and we finish. Pueden ser poca información. No necesariamente. Poco a poco vamos a ir pues, mejorando. Any volunteer here? Maybe we can start in this time with Marita and then Evelyn. Basic information about your best friend. Okay. 
My best friend was my neighbor. She uh, now she lives in San Salvador. She has a son. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, your neighbor, your best friend. We go with Evelyn and then we go with Daniel. Okay. Information, yeah, it can be short information, no problem. Hey. Okay, Evelyn, yes, ready? Quiere la información sobre un amigo, teacher? Sí, cosa, puede ser básica, no problem. Y no te pregunto después, no problem, ¿ok? Para que te prepares. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Daniel, and then we go with John. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have uh, any friend. Uh, I only have family. Ok, maybe you can talk about one member of your family that is close to you. Or you need time, necesitas tiempo. Okay, Evelyn and then John. My friend is like in San Salvador. Okay, very nice. The name of your friend? Okay, está en suspenso, después lo sabremos. John and Eduardo. Okay, let me think. Um, my best friend, let's see, he's a, he's a irresponsible okay. and very, and very, and very educated person. Um, he, he is 40, 40 years old, um, mm -hmm. lives, lives in Apopa. And also, also my boss. Okay. And his name is Tito. Thanks, <laughs> person. Yes. Okay. Um, only teacher. Yeah, no problem. Be relaxed. Remember, this is the first time we're doing this activity. So don't feel like pressure. Okay, Eduardo and Guillermo. Okay, uh, my best friend, his name is Eric Jonathan Duran Asensio. I know him since 2016. We have many adventures. Uh, he is a person very responsible. We work in the same place and we look uh, every day and we have a great. Oh, good, 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 good talks, good friendship and all those. Yes, okay, friendship. nice information. I like it. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo and then David. Okay, teacher. Uh, well, my best friend, uh, her name is Beatriz Merino. She is 25 years old and she works at the office guru and she lives at Lourdes. And she loves to see uh, horror movies with me. <laughs> okay. Ah, that's nice. You have something in common, right? Yeah. Oh, different things. A lot of things in common, but good. That's a good activity. Thank you. David and Katia. Okay, teacher. My best friend is always aware that everything is fine. Uh, he he, live, he like, lives far away and from time to, to time they communicate. Commun communicate. Mm -hmm. Only teacher. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's nice. You you establish communication, Katia, and then we go with Rosalie. Okay, my best friend's name is Arlette. Mm -hmm. She is uh one years younger. Mm -hmm. We have now aged other of the twenty years. 
we share different taste in food. Um, meet her with uh, Star University. She has been an important part for my life. And she lives in San Martin, and she is a very nice person. <laughs> oh, nice. Sounds really good person. Thank you, Katia. Okay, we go with Rosalie, and then we go with Rivas. And my actuality friend, but friend is Katy. Oh, nice. She, she is reserved and selective with her friends. We wow. work together. She is very funny when she gains confidence and she is generous with her trust, trusted friends. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very important details. So be careful with Katia. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, nice person, Katia. Uh, we go with Rivas and then Gustavo. The teacher, my best friends live. In San Miguel, he likes the eagle and he really likes computer. He's married and has a son of whom I am the good father. Mm, yeah, what a good friend. Thank you. Gustavo, and then we go with Cristina. Okay, teacher. My, babe, my best friend lives in Santa Ana. His name is Waldo. He is... Uh, 20, 27 years old. Uh, he likes soccer. Okay, yeah. Very important details. What about Cristina and Luisa? Okay, teacher. Um, I have two friends. Tati is a Zumba instructor. Mm -hmm. And Roxy is a um, manicurist. Mm, they live in Santa Tecla. Um, we met uh, seven years ago at the gym. We love going out, dancing and singing. <laughs> yeah, you uh, share activities. Okay. Uh, to get rid of stress. Mm -hmm. Very we important. Are, we are empowered woman. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> details about that, your best friend. And we're going to finish with Luisa. Luisa, okay. are you okay with your friend? Yeah. Okay. My friend is Sonia Elizabeth. Uh, we're not we're on edge of the world lives for three months uh, before mm -hmm. uh, uh, teen, teen years is uh, left for the United States uh, this despite creo que se dice no sé uh, the distance, uh, we are always in communication. Uh, she is always looking or for me and my family. Mm -hmm. That's really good because you spend time together. Okay, my friends. And well, if you notice, these uh, activities are focused on fluency. Um, it's focused on speaking a lot. Maybe what what I can do is to send the topic, pick an activity and talk about uh, in the morning. So you can have more ideas, what information you want to share. Le voy a enviar las dos cosas en la mañana, ¿verdad? Speaking activity, que es una pregunta corta, y la otra, talk about, y son temas fáciles. So that is going to help you to get more vocabulary in how to use it the, the fluently. Eh, recuerden que ya nivel 5 necesito que la, su fluidez sea un poco es buena su fluidez pero entre más hablemos naturalmente that is going to be better for you ok my friends se nos acabó el tiempo eh, me dejan un thumb up verdad que el pulgar arriba aquí en el chat 
en el chat, ¿verdad? No acá, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí con el emoji, ¿verdad? Me lo dejan así como lo acabo de enviar, así como lo han, así, en el chat, ¿verdad? Y eh, ahí pasó lista, ¿ok? Porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo y pues, eh, me quedaría con Christy, ¿verdad? Con la sesión, ¿ok? Eh, the rest, my friends, nice to see you, gusto de verlos. Creo que ya vieron que va a pasar un poco rápido estas clases, ¿verdad? Ánimo, see you tomorrow, ¿ok, my friends? Déjenme el thumb up, el pulgar arriba en el chat. And see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Solo me quedo con Christy. See you tomorrow. Bye, 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 Ok, Cristi, eh, pues estas sesiones son bien cortas, ¿verdad? Normalmente solo para consultarte si tienes alguna duda. Eh, ya viste cómo es el, mi metodología, ¿verdad? Con el tema de, de algunas actividades, ¿verdad? Eh, estoy enfocado principalmente en generar más fluidez. Eh, no necesariamente que, que sea un vocabulario tan complicado, sino que ustedes generen más seguridad, eh, que se pierda el miedo. ¿Verdad? Que ese es el principal limitante, ¿verdad? Entonces, no te sientas así presionado, como que, ¿verdad? Sino que de lo poco a poco vamos avanzando. Sé que tu gramática es buena, escuché una buena estructura, pero normalmente lo que nos cuesta es dar ese paso, hablar y hablar y hablar sin pena, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Entonces, no sé si tienes dudas con respecto a, a eso, porque sí estoy implementando dos actividades nuevas. Sí, eh, gracias, Tiche. Eh... Primero, eh, yo ya lo conocía, usted a mí no. Ah, exacto. <risa> y este, quizás solo dos minutos eh, comentarle un poco. Mm. Teacher, fíjese que en el módulo test eh, estábamos casi prácticamente las últimas dos semanas y media, quizá. Eh, mi mami se enfermó mucho. Ok. Y este, no. Ella falleció, ¿verdad? Ah, Entonces, eh, para mí conectarme a las clases, híjole, se me venía mucho a la mente muchas cosas, porque fue durante, yo iba, venía, la cuidaba, venía tarde, no, claro, es, me en el es, carro. Eso fue algo bien, no, no bien, impactante, bien impactante para mí. Entonces, este, me, me costó mucho, la verdad. Sí, yo me conectaba, teacher, en algunas, en algunas clases, pues, este sí, yo tomaba mis apuntes yo aquí tengo mi cuaderno, yo tomaba mis apuntes porque estaba justo aquí sentada eh, pero no no lograba participar no lograba este eh, estar activa como lo había estado los tres módulos anteriores ¿verdad? Este, a mí me gusta mucho participar eh, y me Créanme que ahora, al verlo, que usted era nuestro profesor, dije, ups, qué pena con el teacher. No, no te preocupes. Pero dije yo, bueno, vamos a retomar esto, pues, ¿verdad? Este, y, y pues ahí. Sí, estuve eh, escuchando las, las eh, ¿cómo se llaman? Las speak activities. Uh -huh. Me pareció bastante, bastante interesante. Eh, de hecho, somos compañeras de trabajo, Susana y Adi. Susi, Adi. Adi, ¿Sí? excelente también, solo que sí también estuvo un poco ausente. Sí, fíjese que la mamá igual, la mamá. Yo creo que este módulo no va a continuar. La mandaron a llamar de la, de la, de la dirección porque su mamita, al parecer, está teniendo como eh, dificultades con el Alzheimer. Oh, sí, comprendo, sí. Entonces eh, vive con ella, ¿verdad? Y solo son creo, dos hermanas, y entonces mm. es un poquito complicada la situación y no, no, no ha estado igual de lleno, ¿verdad? Tampoco en el módulo anterior. Este, y creería yo, ¿verdad?, que, que no va a continuar. 
este modo. Ok. Susita, son, pero son situaciones susita complicadas. Incapacitada. Susita sí, incapacitada. Que... Okay. Tiene tres días de incapacidad. Hoy, mañana y pasado, creo. O ayer, hoy y mañana, algo así. No he llegado al colegio. ¿Verdad? Ella es nuestra coordinadora. Sí, así me comentó. Sí, hablé un poco con Susi. ¿Verdad? Ajá. ¿verdad? Entonces, este, por ahí va la cosa, pues, pero créame que le voy a echar ganas teacher, verdad eh, cuando ya yo empiezo a poner atención y, y, y voy captando algunas ideas eh, me intereso más, verdad eh, soy, soy bastante también me considero responsable verdad eh, no me gusta no me gusta quedar mal, soy maestra claro, sí <risa> tú, tú, tú te entiendes y tú me entiendes pero sí, Cristi, gracias por ponerme en contexto y, y sé que no es nada fácil, ¿verdad?, eh, pasar por ese tipo de situaciones y todos son procesos que se van, pues, eh, volviéndose parte, se van superando y no es una carrera, cada quien tiene su ritmo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo soy muy consciente de eso, pero sí considero que las clases, así como so, las la, la llevamos y que trato de enfocarlas en diferentes aspectos, es posible que te van a ayudar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, pero ya que me dijiste eso, no voy a tocar ciertos temas, ¿verdad? Algunos familiares, todo eso puedo mencionar, hay tantos temas de qué hablar que puedo mejor aprovecharlos, ¿verdad? Y si en un dado caso tú te sientes incómoda o algo así, tú me escribes, teacher, voy a estar de oyente, ¿verdad? De, me disculpo yo, yo un me, momento. Tú, yo me he propuesto que no, teacher, yo me he propuesto que no, ¿verdad? Espero pues que, que estemos ahí este, siempre activas en la clase. Claro, ¿verdad? me parece muy bien. Me parece muy bien, Cristi, y eh, ánimo, ¿verdad? Si te das cuenta, vamos a ver varios temas, y mi objetivo también es sacarlo de la rutina laboral, familiar, hablar de otras cosas, generar fluidez en inglés, y sí. creo que la vamos a pasar bien, ¿verdad, Cristi? Sí, yo también. Le agradezco mucho, teacher, hoy. Ánimo, verdad. ¿verdad? Ahí estamos, cualquier sí. cosa, tiene mi número, ¿verdad? Estamos para servirte, ¿verdad? Así que okay. eso sería, Cristi, eh, busca una canción que te guste, y mañana la presentamos, ¿ok? Okay, sí, teacher. Gracias. Gracias. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.